Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Somos Valleys. In this series of videos, we are talking about the best book series, the best book for different subjects that of our choice. Now for these different subjects, for the books that I am going to mention, there are three books mentioned for individual videos. Among these three books, it's not likely we are putting in the rank 1, 2, 3, no. All the three books are important because sometimes one book covers some topics better than the other book. That's why we have three books listed for you so that you understand which topics are well written in which books and you can choose that book accordingly. And this book selection is purely based on my personal preference and the way I pursued the book when I read it. The book selection and choice might vary from viewers to viewers. So it is advised that if you want to purchase the book or if you want to read from the book, at least see a sample copy or see the soft copy or PDF version of the book first and then get them. Another advice, if you want to get these books, get it in the colored version. If not possible to buy and afford the original printed version of the book, you can get a PDF and get a colored printout, which still is better in terms of understanding. And if you want to get this book, buy this book, the list of the books and their buying links from Amazon uh, is there in the description. You can click that and you can see uh, the books and you can check the details, you can check the reviews and can decide to purchase or not to purchase. Okay. And at the end, I'll also mention about which book to select and which book not to select based on your requirements. So let's begin. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video, we are going to talk about the best three books for genetics in India. So if you want to read the genetics subject, whether you are graduation, masters in genetics or from any other field like microbiology, molecular biology, zoology, genetics is a common subject in every single study. So if you want to read genetics, then these are the three best books that you have in your hand. And genetics is one of my favorite subject from life sciences. In fact, I love genetics. The reason behind it is that it's conceptual. It's 90% conceptual. So for the building of the better concept of genetics, these are the books that is there in front of you. Now in genetics part, you have uh, this, this molecular part of the genetics and there is also uh, the human genetics part. So Mendelian, non-Mendelian in human genetics is classical genetics part and there is molecular genetics and there is bacterial genetics, there are other things. We are not going to talk about the bacterial genetics here, we are going to talk about the classical genetics part and we are going to talk about the molecular genetics part and the books that from where you will get the better idea of particularly the classical genetics part. Starting with the very first book here, it is the genetics uh, by Fisher. Okay, Hartwell and Fisher. So genetics from genes to genomes, from genes to genomes, Hartwell and Fisher's genetics book. Okay, it is very comprehensive and covers the classical as well as molecular genetics part. So if you want only one book that covers the classical part as well as molecular part of the genetics, then this is the book to go. It has a focus on problem solving and genetic analysis approach which I liked very much. It has very clear illustrations and it has good amount of case studies that are highly recommended to understand the genetics uh, concept. Mendelian genetics, chromosome structure and function, gene mapping and recombination. So this part is molecular genetics, molecular genetics of gene expression and regulation, genomics and biotechnology. So particularly from gene to genome means molecular aspect of the genetics is very well covered by this book. Genetics from genes to genomes by Hartwell et al. So you can go with Hartwell for molecular genetics predominantly. You will get classical genetics, but for molecular genetics go with that. And one more option for that is iGenetics by Russell, which also covers both molecular as well as classical genetics. The second book that we have here is Principle of Genetics by Slustad and Simmons. Slustad Simmons book, Principle of Genetics, why it is there? It is very well balanced coverage of classical, molecular and population genetics. So this book, it focuses on genetics. You can see the, the cover is also focused on genetics. So when you say Principle of Genetics, that means population genetics, that is Hardy-Weinberg principle, that concept is covered. Molecular genetics 
covered classical genetics also covered so if you want one all rounder book to prepare all aspects of genetics then that is snowstad and simmons easy to follow explanations with problem sets and visual aids ideal for undergraduate courses this is asian edition topics you will get molecular genetics gene replication mutation repair genetic inheritance and variation you will get Population genetics, you will get population quantitative genetics, Hardy Weinberg principle, Hardy Weinberg equilibrium, their problems, you will get. Prokaryotes and eukaryotes genetic regulation, you will get. Genomic technologies are something, the more advanced techniques on genetics, you will also get that. So, you will get uh, here molecular part of the genetics and the population part of the genetics are very, very well written in Snowstad and Simmons. Also, they have classical genetics, but they do not emphasize more on classical genetics, particularly the molecular and population genetics is very well represented by Snustad and Simmons. Third book, third best book we say for the genetics here is uh, Genetics Analysis and Principles by Brooker. Analysis and Principle by Brooker. Now, why it is that this book focus on understanding the core principle through experiments. Now, why I said this book? Because, you know, I already told you, Russell I Genetics, you can follow. Russell I Genetics or the very first one that I, I, I mentioned for a classical genetics and molecular genetics combined, you can go with Russell I Genetics. But I put this in the third rank here because if somebody want to understand the underlying complications of genetic concepts, then this is the book to go. It combines classical and modern genetics with molecular insights and it has a strong pedagogical framework. It combines the classical and modern genetics with molecular insights. So, molecular insights are given in the classical format of the genetics and in the modern form of the genetics. In both the format of the genetics, there is an impact of molecular interactions, just the one it is represented in the cover page, right? And that part is taken care of. Mendelian and non-Mendelian inheritance is very well explained. Uh, DNA structure, replication, recombination, genetic linkage and mapping part, gene expression and regulation part, epigenetics and genetic disorders part, epigenetic regulation part is well explained in Brooker. So, Genetics by Brooker is the book to go for classical topics, linkage genetic mapping topics, gene expression and regulation topics, epigenetics and genetic disorders topics. So, for the three separate books that we mentioned, they have three separate approaches. And apart from this, this approach, if we get earlier, the very first book here, the genetics by Hartwell et al. Either you choose this or you choose I Genetics by Russell. Okay. And uh, if you want to go with the this last one where we have molecular approaches, particularly the experimental understanding for analysis and principles, this book is an advanced book not to be used as an introductory student, as an introductory course student introductory genetic student but as an advanced student you go with this and you won't uh, regret it okay so these are the three books but in the very first one i already mentioned you can choose either hartwell book or you can choose the i genetics book all right so i believe uh, i've already clearly stated the difference between all the three books which topics are well covered in one book more than the other so the usp of the books are clearly explained now it's your choice which book to choose depending upon your requirement but remember this is all my personal preferences if you want to check check out the book the link is there in the description you can click the link and you can see the details hopefully you like this video if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to get more videos like that in future thank you